Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's Tuesday and welcome back to the shop. I know you haven't seen me for a while and as I mentioned earlier, I was painting the house and that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. And then secondly, I come out to work at the, on the car yesterday and I found this. 15 inches of snow fell from Sunday night to Monday morning. So it took me the whole day Monday just to clean that up because you can't move 15 inches of snow in one pass. It takes about three passes to get that done. So that's done, so I'm back at work. So what are the things I wanna do? Well, number one is I wanna get this dash installed because there's a few things that need to go in. And I also have the A-pillar pads that are gonna go in. Now the A-pillar pads are gonna be dependent on where the dash ends up. So again, the dash has gotta go in as well. The other thing I'm looking at is all of my stainless. Now, convertible has extra pieces of stainless, but I just wanna make sure that I not only have all the pieces, but once I get all these pieces in place, I gotta start hitting out some of the knocks. So I'm gonna hammer out some of the dings, and then I'm gonna polish all this up so that we can put it back on the car. But I just wanted to make sure I had all the pieces. And number two, I've noticed that a lot of the holes have been elongated over the years. I guess as pieces have been taken off and then put back on, they didn't fit or whatever they did wrong. So I'm probably gonna have to re-drill some of my stainless and put new holes in to realign it properly. But again, these are all things that I just wanted to get the initial fitment on. Now, the dash. So I wanted to start working on the dash and I mentioned this in my last video. So the first thing I'd like to do is thank Glenn over at Glenn's um, 1965 EFI Pony. He had sent me a message saying, you know, the dash is gonna have some challenges on it. You have to make sure you cut some of the um, tabs out for the screw holes. And he was right, the dash didn't fit at all. If you take a look at this picture here, you gotta do a lot of trimming, but you know what? Any piece I've ever bought, I've had to do trimming on. So we got to do the trimming on that anyways. So we'll do that. Now, as far as the installation of the pad, as you know, I'm not going to video things other people have done because to be honest with you, they'd probably do a better job than me. So if you go over to Barry, uh, over at Joe Daddy's Garage, uh, Jade episode 85, he installs the dash pad and goes through all the different screws and everything that you use to put this thing in. So why would I reshoot that? Now, the thing that we both have in common is we have 68 Mustangs. Now in 1968, they put a VIN that was visible through the front windshield, but in 67, it wasn't there. So these pads that you buy, these aftermarket pads, since they fit both 67 and 68, don't have the accommodation for the VIN number. So you have to make that yourself. Now what Barry did is he notched the pad in order to get it over the bin tag. I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna to try to put a slit in the, the um, pad and try to pass the uh, bin plate through it. Again, that's just experimental, I'm thinking about that. The other things of course are all the trim pieces. I gotta clean all these up and paint them because these are black, they have to be blue. So I do have all of the colors for this car because this dash pad has a couple of issues with it. Number one is I bought it 18 months ago, but I only took it out of the package a couple of weeks ago, and that's my fault, but it has some discoloration on the pad, right where the perforations are for the speaker. Now the good news, I have again, all of the colors for this car, so I can touch that up, won't be able to notice it for sure. But the other thing I'm not happy about this dash pad is it must be made of some sort of a siliconized rubber and it feels like it's been soaking in armor all for the last six months and I'm not a big fan of that. I'm gonna see if I can clean some of that off but basically the pads in good shape needs to be trimmed but what doesn't and again uh, I'm not gonna video me installing this because in all honesty as I said before if you can if you can go over to Barry over at Joe Daddy's Garage, you know, he, he, did, he did it already, so I'm not gonna video it. So, what I will do though, is once the, the dash is installed, I will start videoing the cluster and getting all that in because that has the electronics that are a little different in the car, the tachometer that's a little different in the car. So I'll, I'll videotape that. So, like I said, just a short video, let you know what I was up to, going through some of the pieces, trying to figure out how everything's gonna fit, cleaning things up. And again, like I said, I haven't been around for a while, so I just wanted to give you a quick update to where I am. But let's get this dash in. 
Let's get all these trim pieces cleaned up and take all the, the dents out of them, get them polished up, and we'll move on to moving the cluster in. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, and I will see you in a couple of days this time.